That's the video. This is Geo Laser Bull coming at you with another video. And boy, is today an exciting day, guys. We get fresh new Destiny content coming really soon. But today I want to talk to you about how you're going to be able to obtain the one, the only icebreaker. If you guys are excited as I am, definitely the icebreaker is something we've always loved once we first got it. Made PvE so much easier. But now we are getting it back, boys. It is coming back. And this time it's coming with ornaments. So before I tell you guys how you're going to be able to tell it, let me get you guys hyped up and show you guys the ornaments. So when you first get the weapon, you will notice that the weapon will be black, very similar to the way that we got the Soros, uh, where it's a black version. It was white in the beginning and now it's black. This was very similar as you guys see right here on the images. It comes as a black version of the Icebreaker. It already looks sexy in black. Uh, don't get me wrong. It looks sexy. But here are a couple of the ornaments you're able to place off. We have this nice, sexy looking white ornament that we're able to put on it. Very, very nice looking, very well detailed. I don't know if I'm digging too much of the little, too many circles on top of it. I mean, it does make sense as the way the iceberg currently looks like. But I'm not digging it too much. I mean, it would have been cool. It would have been all just white and glossy. It would have been dirty. But that is the first ornament we have. The second ornament we have, it is this camo looking ornament, which looks amazing. One of I I love the way it looks. I like the whole camel look. I you know I I think it looks really really nice and uh, by far definitely one that I'm gonna be picking up. That one's called uh, the uh, Dune Marker. So definitely 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 gonna try to equip that one on my iceberg. But let me know what ornament you guys like the most in the comment section down below. So those are the ornaments, and I know right now you guys are saying, man, that looks sexy. But how do I get my hands on it, right? So let's go ahead and talk about. How you're going to be able to obtain the uh, icebreaker. So with the new live update content, we are going to be getting Savala quest lines. So what are Savala quest lines? What are they similar to? And uh, what you know, what's what can we expect out of them? So pretty much the Savala quest line will consist and is going to be formatted in the new PVE mode called strike scores basically everything that you do within the strike it will give you a score and it will give you a medal for example you're able to earn super medals you're able to earn explosive medals you're able to earn medals if you get grenade kills you're able to get earn medals if you get headshots and there are tons of medals you're able to learn i wish i knew every single one of them but i currently right now we don't know but we do know some that are currently right now within the game or that we saw within the trailer. So these medals are going to allow you to earn a score streak at the end of that strike. Now you're going to go to Savala, visit him every week, and he will give you guys a pair of bounties that you're able to complete within the strike. Once you complete these bounties, you will then have a Nightfall bounty. This Nightfall bounty will give you the ability to get the Icebreaker to drop for you. It's not a guaranteed drop. It's going to be a possibility of it dropping. Uh, so it's going to be very similar to what we have right now with Varys and Prison of Elders. If you recall, after you do all the bounties or after you finish and complete it, you're able to get either three exotics, you know, kind of like the Dreg's Promise and stuff like that. But that is the way you will be able to obtain the Icebreaker. So once again, just a quick recap. The way you're going to be able to obtain the Icebreaker is you will go ahead, go talk to Savala. He'll give you strike bounties. And after you do the Nightfall bounty, at the end of that, you will be able to get a chance to get the Icebreaker. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are super excited for the Icebreaker and its return. And if you are a new player into Destiny and never had the Icebreaker, I'm going to tell you guys, you are going to fall in love with this weapon when PvE comes around. So for you guys to so stay tuned to all things Destiny, make sure you keep it locked on this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.